All right, good morning. So we're here in Iowa. It's about 4.30 on a brand new property. Talked to the landowner last night. He said there's been a bunch of birds hitting this backfield. So I'm gonna slip in, tuck up underneath the cedar tree, put the DSD strutter and a hen out, and uh, see if I can't get one of these guys called in. Tried sighting my bow in last night. Noticed that the peep was gone. No idea where that went. So I made a last minute trip into Shields, got it put back in, and about three this morning, I got sighted in in the headlights. I think I'm dialed in. Everything should be good. It's a beautiful morning. So I'm gonna sit back, see what happens, and uh, enjoy the episode. Alright class, what happens when you're a stubborn little turkey and you won't come in my set and sit up on a hill and gobble all day? You take me off and I come after you. Hope this works. Alright, so I set up this morning a half mile from where I'm sitting right now up on a crop field. It was a beautiful morning, head gobbling all around me. Hens pitched down, gobblers went with them. I saw this tom clear up on the neighboring property about a half mile from where I was sitting. I cut the distance, sat up on the corner of this property up on this side hill. I just took my camera, my tripod, my bow and the decoy and uh, cut a few branches and sat back here and he was answering everything. Sometimes it sounded like he was coming, sometimes it sounded like he was going away. Uh, but then about after two hours of sitting here, he completely shut up altogether. And I was gonna just kick back and wait about an hour before I called again. And so as I'm laying here, I hear a putt. I look up and he's at the decoy. So he slipped in on me like most Easterns do. And uh, patience was definitely the name of the game today. But it was a 27 yard shot, I think it was perfect. I heard him flopping down here in this basin. I'll give him a little bit of time and then we'll go check it out. But I got my first Iowa tag punched for the year. I couldn't be any happier. So because I was nervous on the shot, I went and checked him out. <laughs> sure enough, he's stone dead. So let's go uh, take a look. I'm so pumped to have this tag filled. Last year I didn't fill my Iowa tag. Had a great time in Kansas and Nebraska, but uh, Iowa just kicked my butt and uh, it feels dang good to have have one down already, so that's where he landed. Nice big heavy eastern. Whew. Oh my. Here he is. Alright, here he is. What a beautiful fan. He's got about three quarter inch spurs, so he's probably a two-year-old. About a nine inch rope, which I couldn't be any happier to have this bird on the ground. Last year I did not fill my Iowa tag. These birds absolutely kicked my butt and they about did it this morning. Gobbling all around me, hens took them off the other way. Saw this bird on the neighboring property about a half mile from where I was. I cut the distance, set up quick. Every 15 minutes I gave a call and finally I just kicked back and let it go silent for a while and 
this guy snuck up on me. Able to get it on film and made a decent shot. He didn't go but 30 yards and I've got one Iowa tag punched. I've still got another in my pocket and in not too long, Justin and I will hit Kansas and hopefully put a few more birds down. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I sure did. <laughs>